Swapping out an old graphics card for a bright, shiny new one is one of the most common and easiest ways to improve your computer's gaming performance. For newcomers to PC gaming, this whole graphics driver thing uh, may be a little bit of a mystery. However, my hope is this video will clear things up and help you get the most out of your new graphics card. The first thing I want to address is what are drivers? Uh, without getting too technical and to oversimplify things a bit, drivers are basically the instructions that your computer needs uh, to know how to use a particular piece of hardware. In the case of a graphics card, uh, the drivers tell your computer what your graphics card can do and how to do it. Drivers are important to have installed because without them, you're most likely going to be leaving a lot of performance on the table. The drivers tell your computer how to use your graphics card so that you can get the amazing graphics and smooth frame rates you were hoping to get when you bought that graphics card. Not installing them is like saying, so you using that new GPU tonight? <laughs> no way, man! I spent way too much money on that thing to play around with it. I'm just gonna leave it in the box, and then I'm gonna put it on my shelf next to my Star Trek memorabilia, and that way I can enjoy it whenever I want just by looking at it. On the flip side of the coin, one concern many newcomers to PC gaming uh, and PC building have is they think that without the drivers installed, no video will be output to their monitor. So when upgrading to a new GPU, they believe they need to install their new drivers first before swapping in a new graphics card. This then becomes a bit of a conundrum for them because before installing the new driver, you want to uninstall the old driver. Uh, you see where I'm going with this? Uh, this makes them afraid that by uninstalling their driver, uh, then they won't be able to see anything on their monitor anymore, and then they won't be able to install the new driver and will basically have borked their computer. For those of you with this concern, uh, hopefully I can set your anxieties at ease by saying that's not the way that it works. Your computer will still recognize your graphics card as a display device and output video to your monitor, uh, even without the specific drivers for your GPU installed. So there, there's nothing at all to worry about there. There is a niche scenario, however, I feel that I should warn you about. Um, it is possible to have a motherboard incompatibility causing you to have nothing but a black screen when swapping to a new graphics card. In my experience, I've only seen this happen when pairing an older motherboard with a current generation graphics card. Basically, the graphics card is so new, the motherboard doesn't know what it is and is unable to use it to output video. To fix this problem, you have to update your motherboard's BIOS. Uh, if you don't know what a motherboard BIOS is, um, well, BIOS stands for Basic Input Output System. It's your motherboard's firmware that tells it how to communicate with all the other devices plugged into it, uh, like a graphics card. Technology is constantly changing and improving, and there are times when the old BIOS uh, becomes unable to recognize new hardware because of the changes and improvements that have taken place since that motherboard was manufactured. Thankfully, many motherboard manufacturers update their BIOSes, which provide compatibility with newer hardware, uh, among other bug fixes and improvements and whatnot. You just need to go to their website and download and install it. If you encounter this problem uh, and would appreciate a tutorial about updating your motherboard's BIOS, I have a video. I've linked both in the uh, cards up over here. Uh, and in the video description to help with this very thing. One question I've been asked a lot is, uh, do you uninstall the old driver and then swap in your new graphics card, or do you swap in your new graphics card and then uninstall the old driver? Uh, in my experience, it really doesn't matter. Uh, you can do it either way. I think most people would recommend to uninstall your old driver first and then swap in your new graphics card. Um, but I've swapped in a new card before and then uninstalled the old drivers and everything has been just fine. 
Okay, now that we know what a driver is and have established that we don't need to worry about uninstalling a display driver, uh, let's show you how to do it. Uh, one of the easiest and most efficient ways is to use a utility from Wagnardsoft called DDU. DDU is only recommended to be used though when you are unable to uninstall or install a display driver um, or when you're switching from one GPU manufacturer to another, uh, i.e. if you're switching from an NVIDIA GPU to an AMD Radeon GPU or vice versa. I actually have a tutorial on using DDU that I'll link uh, up in the cards as well as in the video description uh, if you're having a problem or are switching GPU manufacturers and would like to use DDU to help you get your uh, old driver uninstalled. The way I usually uninstall my display driver is by using Windows Add Remove Programs. To access Add Remove Programs in Windows 10, you'll want to press the Windows key on your keyboard and then type in the word Add. Uh, and it should come up here and you can click on it to bring it up. Uh, the PC I'm using has an NVIDIA GPU in it, so I'm going to scroll down my list of installed programs until I see NVIDIA Graphics Driver. If you need to uninstall AMD Radeon drivers, I'm going to show how to do that later in the video. Uh, so you can either jump to the time I'm displaying on screen right now to see that, or use the timestamps I've pinned in the comments as well as uh, in the video description. Uh, you then want to click on NVIDIA graphics driver here and then click on uninstall. You'll then get a little warning telling you this app and its related info will be uninstalled. Uh, click uninstall and the NVIDIA uninstaller will start up uh, asking you one more time if you really want to remove the driver. Click uninstall once again and the driver removal process will begin. Once it's done, it will prompt you to restart your computer, uh, which we'll go ahead and do now. Once your computer has restarted, uh, things will look a bit wonky, uh, but may also come back to normal depending on how Windows decides it wants to treat you. My recommendation would be to then go back into Add Remove Programs and uninstall all the NVIDIA stuff there because uh, we'll be downloading the most current driver along with the most current versions of all this other stuff. Uh, so I feel like we might as well get rid of all of the old stuff while we're at it. You will have to restart your computer several times as you do this, um, but once you've got everything uninstalled, you're ready to download and install the new driver. So let's open up our web browser and go to nvidia.com. Move your mouse over drivers here at the top of the page and then select GeForce drivers. I've personally never used this automatic driver thing here because I always know what GPU I have, and I assume if you've purchased a new graphics card, uh, you also know what it is, and can just search for it yourself in the manual driver search area here. The computer I'm using has a GTX 1060 in it, so I'm going to go to this second drop down here and select GeForce 10 series, uh, and then in the third drop down, I'm going to select GeForce GTX 1060. I then want to select my version of Windows. Uh, I have Windows 10 64-bit, and then you can select your language. Obviously, I'll be selecting English. Uh, now let's click Start Search, and it will bring up the list of the most recent driver releases. The one at the top of the list is the most recent version, uh, so we want to select it and then click Download Now. Depending on the speed of your internet connection, uh, this may take a while. Once the driver package has finished downloading, we can navigate to the download folder and double click on it to begin installing the new driver. First, we'll need to allow this program to make changes to our computer, and then we can choose where we want to install our driver to. I always just use the default location, but you can of course install it to wherever you'd like on your computer. Uh, click OK and the installation will begin. The next time that we need to do something, uh, it's going to ask us if we want to install the driver and GeForce Experience or just the driver. Um, this is completely up to you. 
GeForce Experience can keep your driver up to date for you, as well as provide game-specific optimized settings for your GPU. So if that's something that you would like to have, then go ahead and select that option. All you really need though is just the driver, uh, but for the sake of this video, I'm just going to leave it on the default to install the driver and GeForce Experience and click agree and continue. Your next choice is to use the Express install or custom. Express just installs all of NVIDIA's drivers like the audio driver for audio being output over HDMI, as well as their PhysX and USB-C driver if your graphics card has USB-C on it. Uh, in custom, you can choose to not install those particular drivers if you don't want or don't need them. Again, for the purpose of the video, I'm just going to use the express option and then click next. Now all you need to do is sit back and wait for the installer to do its thing. Your screen will flicker off and then back on again uh, during this, so there's nothing to worry about there. Uh, that's just the driver taking effect. And once it's all done, I like to untick these boxes here and then click close. And um, that's it if you're installing NVIDIA drivers. Uh, please click the like button on this video before you head out if you found the video helpful. Uh, and subscribe to the channel yeah! if you are not already. Okay, now I'll switch on over to AMD Radeon drivers. In Add Remove Programs, we want to go to AMD Software right here, uh, click on it, and then click Uninstall. Windows will then warn us if we do this that this app and its related info will be uninstalled. But uh, that's what we're here to do, so let's click Uninstall again. Windows will then ask us if we want to allow this app to make changes to our computer, which of course we do. So we'll click yes, uh, which will start up the driver installation wizard where it tells us what driver version we are uninstalling. Uh, to begin the uninstallation process, we need to click the uninstall button down here and the driver will begin being uninstalled. Your screen will flicker to black during this process, uh, which is totally normal, so no need to worry about that at all. Once the driver has been uninstalled, you'll be prompted to restart your computer to complete the process. For some reason, my Elgato HD60S capture card decided to turn my screen green here, um, but this shouldn't happen to you at all, so just to ignore this. I had to uh, unplug my capture card and plug it back in again, and that put everything back to normal. Now that our old AMD driver has been removed, we can download and install the new driver. Uh, so let's open up our web browser, and in the address bar, type in amd.com, and press enter. At the top of the page, we want to click on Drivers and Support, uh, which will bring us to this page. Uh, this first option with the big download now button is for an auto detect utility that will automatically detect what GPU you have in your system and then download the driver for you. I'm an old school guy and I already know what GPU I have so I like to just use the list down below. In the first field they've already selected graphics for me so I can move into the second field here and then select the graphics card generation I have. I have an RX 570 in this PC, so I'm going to scroll to Radeon 500 series here and click it. That then brings up this next field where I more specifically choose which series I have, which is the Radeon RX 500 series. And then in the last field here, I choose my GPU, which is the Radeon RX 570. I then click submit and that brings us to this page where we choose our PC's operating system. I'm using Windows 10 64 bit so I'm going to click on that which will expand the list to show the drivers for Windows 10. This first option is for their newest optional driver uh, which I could choose um, but I prefer to just use the WHQL recommended driver uh, which is this one here just below it. I click on download and the driver will begin downloading. Once the download has completed, we need to navigate to our download folder where we can double click on the driver package that we just downloaded. Windows will ask us if we want to allow this app to make changes to our device, which we obviously do. 
uh, click on yes and here we can choose where we want to install the driver to on our PC. I always just install it to the default location, but if you have a different place you'd rather install it to, uh, you can click on browse and install it to wherever you'd like. Once you've chosen where you want to install the driver to, uh, click on install and sit back and relax for a bit while the driver is unpacked and gets things ready for install. The next time you need to do anything will be when you reach this screen. It will tell you what version of the driver you're installing and you'll have one more opportunity to choose where you want to install the driver to if you decide you want to change uh, all of a sudden uh, by clicking on additional options here. You can also choose whether or not you want to do a factory reset of your driver, um, which just means it will remove any previous version of AMD Radeon software you may have installed and start you off with a fresh, clean driver install. If you're upgrading your graphics card, I feel like this option is a good idea. If you're just updating your driver on the other hand, then I think you're fine to just leave this box unchecked. Once you've decided what you want to do here, you can click on install and your Radeon driver will begin installing. This will take a little bit of time and your screen will flicker a couple times as the driver installs and once it's done, you'll be prompted to restart your computer to complete the driver install. Once your computer has restarted, the driver installation will automatically resume, and I apologize for the green tint to everything here. That's something my capture card likes to do sometimes when I restart a computer while I'm capturing. Once the driver has fully installed though, things come back to normal, um, but you shouldn't experience the green tinting at all. That's just something weird that happens with my capture card. Once the driver installation has completed, you'll see this screen here where I always uncheck these boxes and then click finish. And that's it. You're all done. Your new driver is installed and you're ready to game and get all of that FPS that you just paid for. Hey, I know you're done watching and ready to take off, but before you head out, could you please do me a solid and leave me a comment and let me know what you thought of this video? Do you feel like I went into too much detail or do you feel like it was just right? If you found the video helpful, uh, please hit the like button before you go and uh, subscribe to the channel uh, if you're interested in seeing more videos from me. Yeah! If you'd like to help me continue doing what I do here on my channel, uh, please share this video with your friends and family that are in need of some help. And uh, check out my Amazon store at the link in the video description where you can purchase different products that I feature in my videos. I hope you have a great day, and I hope to see you in another video again real soon. Thanks! We'll see you later.